Okay, Alex, so Friday night, Kingston Park, the legends return. You played alongside a few of the guys, like Jamie Noon and Tom May. Be good to see them back on the field. Yeah, definitely. Um, hope we've uh, cleaned the boots and they're ready to go. Um, yeah, I played with, we just come through the academy when Noonie and uh, Tom May uh, were coming through, so they were people I was looking up to at the time. And then obviously uh, Berkey's back in the tune as well, which would be great to see. Hopefully he's got one of his uh, good performances lined up. And f what was it like for a young man like yourself come through with that quality of player in the, in the squad? So how did it inspire you and how did it motivate you? Well, I mean, they're great professionals. Um, Nooney, I liked his physicality. Uh, I remember on my first day, he was supposed to be playing touch rugby and he, he smashed me and dumped me on me. So kind of got what he was about. And then, uh, yeah, Tom May, just great professional, scored lots of tries. Um, and obviously Berkey is a, a legend, what he did. And uh, as a young fullback, it was good, good to learn off and, uh, and and pick some tips up from. And what was it like for you again, as a, as a young fullback, filling those boots sort of when he when he retired? Um, I don't know if I have filled these boots, to be honest. Uh, some big boots to fill. Um, but I mean, you know. Um, Great to play fullback for Falcons, but to follow a legend like him um, was a bit of an honour. So, uh, but it'd be be great to see them back, and I'm sure it'd be a really good game. And I know you're nursing a slight niggle that we'll see you're not involved down at sales. So, will you take advantage of the opportunity to come and start that week of World Cup in in Newcastle by coming down and watching the legends? Yeah, well, I was hoping, um, hoping obviously to be involved with the sale game, but uh, due to injury, won't be able to be there, and uh, I'll be here. Bells and whistles on. Uh, come to watch the boys and see see how they're still going. See uh, see they're still trucking along well. Uh, might start that uh, party weekend off all right. Yeah. And where have you been thinking about World Cup so far? Uh, I think it's been a great tournament. Um, obviously, really excited. Um, there's great results from Japan and uh, it sort of ignited the tournament a little bit. And then obviously. Uh, England's Wales game the other day, um, you know, makes it more exciting. England have to go and get a result against Australia to stay in the tournament. So uh, there's plenty of good games going on and lots of full crowds, which is great. And uh, and hopefully it'll promote it the uh, rugby in England. And there's family ties through your side with uh, with Scotland, isn't there? Yeah, there is. Yeah, um, dad's half Scottish, half Irish. So I mean, uh, got a bit of a Celtic in there, and mum's English. So. Uh, you know, I'll be if England go out, I'll probably be cheering for Scotland and uh, and see how they go. Hopefully, they're doing doing all right at the minute. So hopefully, it'll be a good uh, good game, South Africa Scotland, with a lot riding on it. So. And are you getting down to any of the games at St James's, or are you going to make do with the fans? Or? No, no, I'm going to be going to every game. Um, it doesn't come round round very often, so I thought uh, might as well make the opportunity, take the opportunity, and get out there and uh, and see the games live at Newcastle. Brilliant, thanks, Alex. Cheers, uh, Andy.